many psychologists think of, of the mind in terms of two systems. System one is the associative one. System one is the impulsive one. System one tends to be more emotional. System two is capable of following rules. And system two uh, is, is more socialized in the sense that it, it supervises what people say and to some extent what they think and tends to bring those things in, in line with existing norms. There has been a fair amount of research indicating there are classes of decision where following your gut is a good idea. Uh, it's a fairly limited class. It's much more limited than most people think. If you're choosing posters or if you're choosing things in terms of whether you will like them in future, you'll, you'll do reasonably well following your immediate impulse. For other decisions, following your immediate impulse is not guaranteed to, to do well. It could do well. Depends a lot on how much experience you've had. If you've had a lot of experience in a particular domain, you can trust yourself in that domain. If you've been able to learn from your mistakes, which isn't always true. Otherwise, in big decisions, in really big decisions, you might want uh, you might want to slow down. And that is almost the only advice that we have for people. Uh, when things get really big and you're really not sure, slow down. We're very inclined to take subjective confidence at face value. That is to assume that if an individual feels confident in a judgment or, uh, or in a decision, then that must be valid. People are extremely confident even when they don't know what they're talking about, don't know what they're doing. So confidence is a mark of intuitive thinking, regardless of whether intuitive thinking is expert intuitive thinking or heuristic intuitive thinking. To distinguish intuitive thoughts that you can trust from those you can't trust, you really have to look at the environment and you have to look at the individual's opportunity to learn the environment. There are some environments that, that simply cannot be learned because they are chaotic and too complex. So I don't believe people have intuitions about stocks because we know that that world is not regular enough uh, to, support in, to support valid intuition. So you have to look at, at the world, not look at people's confidence.